today on The Rift, Jeremy and Justin sit down to talk about Easter. Honestly, they talk a lot more about Dream Center Campus cinnamon rolls than they do Easter. So whether you're excited about Easter or cinnamon rolls, we hope today is helpful. Thanks for listening. All right, welcome to another episode of The Riff. I am Jeremy, your co-host, and I'm with uh, Justin. I would feel like you're the host. I feel like I'm the co-host. I think you're the host of the most. No. I, I think, think we're so. co-hosts. You think so? I don't know how it works. I don't either. I'm not a big podcaster. No, I know. Yeah. But I am a big riff raff. That's true. Big follower of fan of the riff. Uh, and we're excited. We're if we have more of a pep in our step today, it's because we are anticipating a hippity hoppity hoppity Easter coming up this next weekend. <laughs> that's that's not that easy to good, do. Good, man. That was so good. Yeah, yeah. That was quick. It's Easter. It's Easter. It's Easter. And we're excited about that uh, this weekend. And so we wanted to take a, a few minutes um, as we started the tradition last year, I believe, leading into mm-hmm. Easter. Is we uh, an annual thing we do. It's an annual. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a little, uh, kind of a little hunt uh, on Easter week to be able to tell you uh, what we can expect this weekend. Uh, we know that this is is the single uh, most attractive week for someone to say yes to an invitation uh, to a gathering. And that just has been true uh, for many years and it has certainly been true in recent years. So uh, we're anticipating Easter. So tell us a little bit about Easter, you know, the behind the scenes, okay? How is the sausage made? Um, you know, is that is that a familiar? Have you ever watched a video on that, like sausage? I've and like not. how they case it? It is awful. Because I'm one that likes to uncase the sausage. I, you know, like summer, I'm a big summer sausage fan. I walked away from sausage after a couple of videos. Really? Yeah. Maybe we put the yeah. link of it on I, the show notes. Oh, you are, you are <laughs> on fire right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Easter. Uh, so we got some, we got some times. We got yeah. times. Let's talk times. Let's start with service Let's times. times. Okay. Let's talk, uh, we're going to do Easter at all four campuses. Okay. Yep. Can I think we that's start with even a pre-Easter <gasps> event uh, opportunity? We're excited about. Oh, Friday. Yes. The Good Friday Art Show. Yeah. Yes. So, Coming right. to a coffee shop near you. Okay. Now, let me, let me give a little background here <laughs> and, then, right. and then tell us a little bit about it. But um, uh, so depends on your experience growing up. There's, uh, there's um, uh, Good Friday for many uh, faith expressions has been a very meaningful opportunity to prepare uh, for Easter. A lot of times on Easter, probably rightfully so, we focus on um, the resurrection, the celebration that Jesus rises from the dead. Um, and Good Friday is an opportunity to take a moment and pause and uh, just think about the, the the moments, the days, the week that leads up to Easter, um, the suffering um, that Jesus did, why he did that. Um, you know, it talks about um, man the sacrifice that Jesus made. And so there's there's been some cool expressions, whether it's stations of the cross or different communion or prayer services. And so we've toyed with um, man, uh, what would be a great opportunity for us to lead North Pointers through and. Pretty excited about what we're uh, doing this year. So tell us a little bit yeah. about it. So that's this week. That's this yep. Friday. You yep. can get the locations and the times on the website. Yep. D- the dub 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 dot dot North Point Church dot North Church TV. TV. That's yep. right. As yep. in television, even though we're not on television. Yeah. It's truth is we got it five dollars cheaper from a, a company in Tel Aviv, but we just say television. <laughs> And, all right, and we have. Uh, if you Scott, can't see, I've been tickling Justin. That's, is, <laughs> that's why he's giggly today. <laughs> we uh, we got we've got um, art from Scott the painter. So if you're not familiar with him, he he's an artist that has done some incredible work and put into uh, a visual art form what we talk about when we talk about resurrection or we talk about death or we yeah. talk about, uh, he had a, an advent thing that we did um, back in in, uh, in Christmas. Just beautiful, beautiful art um, that really puts you into a space that allows you to think and really yeah. meditate on certain pieces. And in this instance, on pieces of the suffering and what Good Friday is and what Easter is and what it means. And it's just a really, really cool experience to walk through. 
We're going to be doing that at um, coffee shops, and we'll have some staff there. Three different areas. Three different Republic, areas. Republic, Springfield, Nixon. That's right. We'll have some some staff there. Some volunteers will be there just to hang out, talk, maybe yeah. pray, maybe walk through something you're going through, just to hang out on a good Friday. I think it'll be a really cool deal, and especially coming out of the series that we just got out of, which is Lost yeah. Art of Following, where it's this whole idea of, of this art theme and, and this idea of what it looks like to follow. And I think it's just going to be a, a really cool culmination of everything that we talked about in the past three weeks leading into Easter. I'm excited for it. I love it. Uh, One question a lot of the riffraff are asking right now for those who are with us this weekend at service, um, would the the piece that I uh, put together um, uh, that that we we highlighted, will that be featured at all of the coffee shops or just one? No, I... um, Hmm. That that piece, if yeah. you haven't seen it, it's a it's a piece that uh, Jeremy has drawn. Yeah. Um, I, I haven't. I don't know if it's going to be shown. Yeah. Because uh, th- the thoughts were, uh, I know that riot was used. That word was used. Righteous um, invasion of the truth. Th- no, just a riot. Like if we were to oh, actually have oh, that piece of okay, art out, right, yeah, um, yeah, not yeah. behind stanchions, not yeah. behind glass, really. Right. Um, people, people would just put, be like, chemicals on it. Right. Yeah. I've so probably that. the best case scenario for that would be just to put it in the riff studio like we've done your other art pieces and and i don't want it to be about me no i I really don't but i am putting together a little what what i would now say i'm curating a collection you really are yeah and so um and we'll 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 get more into those kind of details later but uh we are now here's the deal i feel like easter is um our saturday sunday experience which we'll talk about here in a second um, couldn't be more different than our Friday experience. Um, mm-hmm. And it's it's Friday is going to be very come at your own pace, come at your own place, um, and very uh, introspective, reflective. Obviously, it's a great place to connect. Um, but it's just a change of pace, and it's opportunity for you to just uh, take it in. Um, you know, um, at your speed. And um, I, th- I think it'd be very helpful in the process. I know we all got crazy schedules or, or different schedules, but if that fits for you, again, go to uh, go to, go, go to uh, the site or the app and uh, pick out which coffee shop um, works best for you uh, this Friday night, 6 to 8, I believe. Yeah, at all of them. At all so, of them. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, Saturday, uh, we start our uh, Easter services. Saturday, we start them. So at Nixa and at Springfield, we'll have Saturday night services at 4 o'clock, and six o'clock. Yeah. Two of them. Yeah. Four and six. Yep. And then Sunday is Sunday, Sunday. Uh, 7 30, 9, 7 30, 9 and 11. Yeah. 10 30 is we're going to start preparing we're for gonna this prepare service. We're going to prepare at 10 30. Oh. But at the Dream Center, they are serving breakfast at 10 30. Yes. So, and listen, I know I've said this a lot, but there's this thing they do there. And it's cinnamon rolls. Uh, and I knew you were going to squeeze I cinnamon rolls into this. I can't stop thinking about it. I can't. Yeah. I was there four or five weeks ago and they had cinnamon rolls and I just, it's the best cinnamon roll I've ever had. It puts, it puts Disney to shame. It puts Silver Dollar City to shame. What? It puts all bakeries in Springfield, Missouri to shame. It puts everything to shame. What about it's, the Cinnabon? It destroys Cinnabon. If Cinnabon just had the epicenters that they sold, not even the the whole roll, and everybody knows the epicenter is the best part. Oh my word! By yes. far, it's a it's a two on a scale of ten compared to these cinnamon rolls. It was like I was eating the epicenter every bite. It was magical, magical. So that is that is a come early at the Dream Center. Ten thirty. Uh, yeah, ten thirty is. Uh, the Easter breakfast brunch, oh, eleven o'clock service. 11 o'clock. There. So, okay, so uh, nine and uh, eleven. Uh, so nine thirty and el- good nine grief. eleven. Nine seven eleven. thirty nine eleven. <laughs> seven thirty nine eleven Nailed at Springfield it. Nixa. Uh, Republic will be uh, nine and eleven, and and then then just eleven o'clock with a breakfast proceeding. That's right. Dream Center. The reason why we're changing our times, and I probably should get these down. Once I get them down, we'll change them back. But no, that's fine. Um, I'll, get you, I'll get you a piece. The of paper. reason is because we anticipate the between the second and third service at the Nixa Springfield campuses, and between the services at Republic. Um, uh, enough time to clear the parking lot and, and have the parking lot uh, be able to be refilled. Uh, we wanted to, to bust out the time frame then. And so 7.30, 9, 11 o'clock, Nixa, Springfield, 9, 11, Republic, 
11 o'clock Dream Center with uh, breakfast at about 10.30. Right. It's going to be great. On. And if you're wondering, if you're listening, man, what service is going to be packed? Mm-hmm. Nine o'clock? Yeah. Nine. All of them will be packed, but nine o'clock will be busy. Yeah. And I know that Sunday is a... 7.30 might not be packed. 7.30 might not be packed, but we know that Easter is a Sunday though. celebration. It's a morning celebration. And it's a morning celebration. Yeah. So that's why we added that 7.30. Yeah. If people um, are a little bit worried about maybe being in an overflow area or not wanting to be in that kind of a crowd, we yeah. added that 7.30. We added Saturday night as Don't well. Don't want to get out too late. Right. But we also... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll be out right on time yep. if you go to 7.30. Yeah. But it's a great opportunity if you don't want to be in a really crowded space. Yeah. Um, it'll still be busy, but it yep. will not be what it is at 9 o'clock or, or 11 o'clock. Yeah. So a lot of options there. And then two options on Saturday, especially if you're serving um, on a Sunday yeah. and you find yourself not even be able to celebrate on a Sunday and you've just yeah. said, yeah, I'll serve the whole day. Saturday's a great option to yeah. just bring your family to and just go to and, and enjoy. And we're not the type of church that wants to get up there and be like, hey, if you're uh, regular around here, don't come to such and such service. We understand that everyone's right. got, especially if you're bringing someone with you, 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 it's important for us that you would feel the freedom and the encouragement to come and sit and be with the friends that you're bringing along. Um, um, but if you're, if you're approaching this weekend and you're like, man, I really don't have a preference. Saturday is just as good as Sunday. We do encourage um, if, there's, if, if you're neutral, uh, come to one of our Saturday services because like you said, um, for those who are going to be coming to Easter uh, to North Point for the first time or the first time in a long time, Easter is the weekend they do and they're typically going to come to the nine or the 11 o'clock service. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, I keep hitting the microphone, that's bad. So we're excited about Easter. Now, the whole point um, uh, for us philosophically for Easter is not to be like, hey, let's have the craziest production ever. Um, I just thoroughly believe this should be the best expression um, of who we are on a weekly basis. So let's not try and do something, pull off something that would be foreign to them coming back in two weeks, next week, two months from now. And so not, th- but we also want it to be the best version of it because we right. think it's the biggest impact. Um, but what can you expect from Easter? You can expect us to talk about Jesus, um, him crucified and risen. You can expect us to celebrate with some worship. You can expect it to make sense to somebody who's there for the very first time. And you can expect it to be encouraging and practical for someone um, who's been celebrating Easter for many years. Mm-hmm. Um, so we hope it's everything that you experience at North Point. Um, it is probably something that um, we feel represents it um, as, as good as any other time during the year. Yes. And I love the theme. The theme, if you've seen it, um, and it might not make sense to you, but it's Easter and then a question mark. I like that. Right? So, a like curvy exclamation. Curvy exclamation. So maybe it's like <laughs> Easter? One yeah. of those? I don't, I don't know. Inflection. But the thing that we're going to be focused on, and I love it because we focus so much as a church on next steps. Yes. So, Easter is going to be a celebration. It's going to be fun. But we also know there's questions around Easter. So, even for a, a longtime Christian, let's celebrate the resurrection. And then what's the next step? Right. Yeah. So that's the question mark yeah. for somebody walking in. What does Easter mean for me? That's their question mark. Right. Right. So everybody's walking in with some type of question mark, whether it yeah. be from a, a doubt to a celebration and what's next. I am excited to talk yeah. about it. And while every year on Easter, um, kind of the, um, the, the story that I, I get a chance to share is the same. Um, you know, I, I've never shared the angle I am this year. I've been thinking about it for a while. I'm excited about it. Um, one, anytime we get to share about how Jesus, uh, his resurrection gives us hope in any and every area of our life. We've all got things in our life that can use some resurrection power. We all have got things in our life that we feel like, man, we've we've almost turned that over uh, uh, t- towards death. Like there's no way I'll find hope in this again, or there's no way I'll grow in this area of my life again. Um, we're going to look at that, look at those areas and see, uh, see how Easter in, impacts that. But I, I'm praying for those who, um, those who are going to be there and that they would hear from Jesus. So a few practical things uh, as we lead to Easter mm-hmm. and uh, we'll let you get about your way, week, but we encourage you to be uh, praying about it. Be praying about 
um, what does resurrection mean to you? Um, if you're listening to us and you're regular, you're a follower of Jesus, um, uh, what about this is so foundational and how do we live that out? Secondly, um, uh, how do you make this coming weekend meaningful to you? And maybe it is serving in such a way where it's not just doing good deed, it's helping create a great experience for someone else. Um, and that's awesome. Um, maybe for you, um, is there a service where you can just attend and just just uh, celebrate? Um, whether that's a Saturday night or a Sunday, uh, maybe Friday night at a coffee shop for you, that'll be meaningful. And then the third thing is, who's somebody in your sphere of influence um, that one of these handles um, would be a helpful experience for? And consider consider inviting them along. So I think I think that'll be a great weekend. Um, uh, you know, we, we anticipate God doing some great things as we gather and uh, prepare the table for Him to speak. So awesome Easter. We're gonna do it again. Cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon rolls. Yeah, man. Preceding the eleven o'clock at Dream Preceding Center. Let's, the 11 let's see if I can now hit all the service times do correctly. It, do it, man. Do it. Six to eight on Friday night. We have opportunity at different coffee shops. Go to the website. Go to the app. Done. Check. Um, Saturday, we're gonna go four and six at Nixon and Springfield. <laughs> Crush it. Four or six. You Either don't have one. to do both. You can do both. You could. You could. You could. Sunday, seven thirty. Um, 7.30 is going to be, that's going to be a fun one. Uh, and that's at, only at? Nixa and Springfield. That's right. And then we have uh, 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock at Nixa, Springfield, and Republic. That's right. And then 10.30? <laughs> Some What's cinnamon that smell? rolls. Mm. I, mean, I hope they have cinnamon mm. rolls. I've talked to them. Bun? I, if mm. Andy T is listening to this mm. right now, pressure's on because we got to have some there. The only sin we're going to promote this weekend is the sin a bun. The sin a man rolls. <laughs> that's about 10.30. No, that's good. And we'll yeah. work on marketing. Yeah. It's, I, <laughs> we, got, we got a couple steps to take. Putting the yeah. sin no, back in I, Easter. Mmm. <laughs> I'm feeling sinny this morning. There's so many different slogans. There's, yeah. Did you so, meet with the creative team already on this? I'm about to. Yeah, I'm actually going to have he's gonna love it. No, he's going to love it. He's going to love it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, all right. Hey, uh, we are excited about Easter. We believe this is a pivotal moment in the lives of so many. We're thankful to share it with you. So we'll see you here in just a, a few days as we anticipate Easter. Question mark? Easter? Easter? <laughs> Thanks for listening to this episode of The Riff. We'll have a brand new episode every week, wherever you find podcasts.